Our ship is docked here. Thank you for escorting us. Mavier! Already, like you asked. Feel free to tell me how great I am. Wait a minute. What's the Divine Dragon doing here? Marnie? What do you want? We don't have any more rings. There are circumstances that require we travel together to Lethos. Huh? Divine Dragon, after Marnie and I lost the rings, Zephia disciplined us to an unjust extreme. So, on my honor, I will not betray you once at sea. I will deliver you safely to Lethos. Will you trust me? I will. Take us to Lethos. What? Why would you help them? They're not our friends, they're enemies! The Divine Dragon should meet with Lady Vale. We have no reason to fight as long as you don't start trouble. I know a threat about not threatening people when I hear one. Mavier, what's happening? You will hear details once we are aboard. If that is unsatisfactory, then you may remain here. Hey! What? Fine, fine. Okay, temporary truce until I get back to Zephia and the others in Lethos. So be it. Let us go, Divine Dragon. Okay. Sombron's child? What? <laughs> yes. So that means you're the sibling Lady Vale has been looking for all along? And that's why we're headed to Lethos. Hang on, does Gris know about this? He's the one who told me. Gris picked a fight at Elusia Castle to verify the truth, even surrendering a ring to do so. What? Nobody told me that was the plan! Why are Sombron and Vale going to Lethos? It's about Gradlon, the Fell Dragon's land lost under the sea. He intends to restore it. To restore that unholy land? My word! What more do you know about this, Vander? Gradlon sank beneath the waves 1,000 years ago. It was, of course, Sombron's land. Gradlon was a wicked place, one as much as Lethos is holy. To raise and revive it, Sombron needs to destroy the Divine Dragon Shard in Lethos. That shard is what chains Gradlon beneath the waves. Lord Sombron finds it... problematic. So you're saying that Sombron's greatest desire is to restore Gradlon? Far from it. His desire, if such a word is fitting for Lord Sombron, is to invade other worlds. Other worlds? The continent of Elios is only a stepping stone. He plans to extend himself... everywhere. There are other worlds, and he wants to rule them all. How is that even possible? I'm well beyond what I know for certain. Lord Sombron has shared little of this with me. I can say, Lady Vale is a pawn in service of his greater ambitions. Please tell me anything more you know. I've heard that Vale's called a defect. What does that even mean? Well, as a start, Dragon Royalty should be able to summon emblems. She cannot. Lord Sombron learned this recently, soon after his revival when reunited with Lady Vale. His children all fought in the war, but she, his youngest, never saw battle. Or any emblems. She told me we met once, all that time ago. You were among her many siblings. They all, in time, died fighting in the war. All save for you. <sighs> then Sombron was imprisoned, and Lady Vale's mother died, leaving her alone. She could find no friends in an age when it was rumored a last Fell Dragon child had survived. Lady Vale lived in hiding, knowing that were she discovered, she would be killed. A thousand years, living like that. All alone that whole time? Not exactly. A few centuries ago, she came into contact with worshippers of the Fell Dragon. In their care, she slept in a hidden temple, until Lord Sombron's release. She had been, long ago, close with those in that temple. But when she recently awoke... They were all dead, weren't they? 
So Lady Vale was relieved, even overjoyed, to find herself reunited with Lord Sombron. He detested her, and proclaimed her a defect, lacking a fell dragon's abilities and character. Sombron required her obedience, however, so he ordered Zephia to tamper with her nature. Lady Vale may have thought she was no longer alone, but she's never been more so. Ever. How awful. <laughs> what is it, Marnie? Is it the waves? Are you seasick? No! I'm trying not to cry! But... I never knew Lady Vale's life was so sad. I thought I was the one with the tragic story. I should have maybe been nicer to her. Probably. You have never told me of your past, Marnie. Uh, I mean, you know, happens all the time. I was just abandoned by my mom, that's all. I had a lot, a lot of brothers, and she decided she didn't need a girl. Which is weird, since I was way superior to those useless jerks, even back then. I mean, I was better at helping her, but she never said thank you, or good job, or anything. The first time we went for a walk, just us, so she could find somewhere to dump me. Imagine, my hand in hers, and we're strolling from place to place. She left me at a church. I can't believe it. It's fine. The priest was nice. As long as I helped free Lord Sombron, I got lots of thank yous. Eventually, I met Zephia and joined the Hounds. See? Lady Vale's story is so much sadder. Zephia filled out the four Hounds with devout followers of the Fell Dragon. Did that include you, Mavier? Yes. I was there at the hidden temple where Lady Vale slept. When she awoke, I was there to speak with her. She, a royal dragon, asked me to be her friend. I said it was impossible. Lady Vale then asked if I could offer my service to her as a knight. And you accepted? That I could not refuse. It's a big deal to be handpicked like that by royalty. Who would have thought? You made her knight? That's just cool. I mean that, Mavier. That's really cool. Should you wish, I am sure Lady Vale would also accept you as her knight. What? No way. I don't want to work with you that much. No praise, no thank yous. I hate you. Is that so? Besides, I already belong somewhere. I need to get back to Zephia. Since you're helping the Divine Dragon, you're probably going to get kicked out of the Hounds. I expect as much. Yeah, well, I like being one of the Four Hounds. As soon as we're off this boat, we're enemies. You do hate me, after all. So, surely, you'll be happier. Right. So... Yes. I'm done talking. This is a waste of my time. Mavier, thank you for telling us all of that. When we find Vale, I hope you will do what you think is best for her. Even if that means we'll cross blades again. I shall. What's happened to Lethos? The land, it's fallen to rot and ruin. A sure sign of Gradlon's return, or that our foes are now destroying the Divine Dragon Shard. We have to stop Sombron. Where is the Shard? It's in the castle. Queen Lumera's home. Who would have thought we'd return here to see everything come to this? I know you're here, Sombron! Show yourself! Ah, the Divine Dragon has arrived. Or should I call you the Divine Imposter? <sighs> You've arrived earlier than expected. How did you know where to find us? My other two children haven't even caught up to us yet. I assume you mean us. Why are you with them? You two brought them here? And betrayed us? Unbelievable. Please, no! You have it wrong! Wrong? <laughs> Looks pretty clear to me. This is my doing. 
I want Lady Vale to meet with the Divine Dragon. I might have even forced them to come, but it wasn't necessary. Marnie had no part in this. Mavier! Return to the Hounds, Marnie. Uh, but... Do not hesitate. Go now. Marnie, welcome back. But Mavio, what will we do with you? I'm willing to forgive and forget if you can explain yourself. We are family, after all. What nonsense. I know you're going to punish me, but Lady Vale will see the Divine Dragon. You rude, self-serving. I don't mind. I was just thinking I'd like to talk to the Divine Dragon myself. Vale? What's happened to you? <laughs> it's good to see you again. What did you do to Lady Vale? I told you about Lord Sombron's enchanted helmet. My spell has now truly taken hold. Vale, do you know who I am? Why, you're my dear long-lost sister. What a happy reunion. <sighs> what the... This is what you've been trying to do to her? Can the other Lady Vale return? No, never. Not as long as that helmet remains attached and intact. That other side of her is dead. Dead? Oh, please. You should be delighted. You don't have to talk to the defect anymore. Zephia, I know about Vale's past. Do you? You were alive way back then. What? I mean, I didn't know. When I helped you with all of these awful things, Lady Vale was all alone for so long. And she was so excited to see her family again. She never got to enjoy it. Now she never will. It's all so terrible. What is this, Marnie? Zephia, I loved it when you gave me praise. I loved it when you said we were family. I loved belonging somewhere. I loved the four hounds. But this has gone too far. I have to do what I know is right. Praise or no praise. Marnie? I'm going to free Lady Vale. I'm going to break that helmet to pieces! No! Stop! <laughs> Marnie, that was simply pathetic. An attack like that couldn't put a scratch on Father's gift. I swung with all my strength, and it did nothing? I take it you were trying to free me, fool that you are. But as it turns out, you have failed in your attempt. Oh. I ordered you to stop, did I not? Such a bad girl. You are a very naughty child. If only you had done as I had said. Marnie! Uh, dear. I'm sorry. I tried to save her, but in the end, I guess I wasn't strong enough. If she's ever her old self again, you tell her something for me? Please tell her that she's done so well. Huh? Don't go. Please. Marnie! <sighs> oh, did she die in your arms? How very tragic. What a waste. Got killed for nothing.
Marnie was just trying to restore Vale. And all this... for that. I will never stand by you again, Zephyr, save for the moment my blade pierces your heart. Divine Dragon, I beg of you, allow me to fight at your side, to avenge Marnie, and to save Lady Vale. Mavir, of course. So you're just going to betray me? Leave me sad and lonely again? And you, sister, I thought you'd be happy to be reunited with me after... so long. You are not our Vale. This must be about my new look. Then you're not going to like this look either. Marth! His fellow emblems stolen away? You turned your back on him. Oh, lonely thing. Just like me. But I'm here for you, little emblem. I'm all you need. Now. Had I known I had a sibling who survived the years, I would have killed you. I'd like to make sure I'm my father's one and only child. You want to be alone forever? Yes, that's right. I have no need for this sort of family, or friendships, or bonds of loyalty. I do appreciate you bringing the rings to me, but that's where our relationship ends. Now. Goodbye, sister. Vale.
Divine One, I am with you from this day forward. Awaiting orders. My will is firm. All flowers eventually wilt. Understood. Word. Cutting in. Over here. Simple enough. Right away. Cut 
coming in. Understood. If I may. May all find salvation. No mistakes. The choice is yours. I'll protect you. I'm sorry you're stuck with me. Engage! My turn! <laughs> that was cool, was it not? Hey! 
like a hero. May their souls find peace. It's nothing personal. I'm merely following Lady Vale's orders. By my hand! I'll apologize later. You're done for! <laughs> Way to shine! Not a worry. Now I'm angry. You put up a good fight. Retribution is due.
You're quite strong. Perhaps you do have what it takes. I'm ready. Find salvation. Cutting in.
Worthy opponent. Doesn't matter to me. I'll fight, and that's that. Mine! I don't play nice. Oh, yeah! I'm sorry you had to see that. Get your loss.
worthless. I really am worthless. Flowers eventually wilt.
We could have been friends. <laughs> Unfortunate. Like a hero. May their souls find peace. Getting hungry.
are you looking at? The me in front of you? Or the me from before? listening. Yeah. 
That was cool, was it not? All find salvation. I'll 
right. No. Me too. Uh, Look here. Uh, I'm so pathetic. Apologize later. I'll assist. Look here. Me too. Look here. No choice but to win. doesn't make sense. Her changing back wasn't supposed to be possible. <gasps> the enchanted helmet. It's correct. Marnie's attack worked? Marnie. Such bravery. Where are we? Letho's castle. You've been under Zephia's control. My head hurts really bad. And... Wait a second. What am I... Wearing? And where did I get this ring? This is yours, right? I remember. We were near the cathedral. You said it was important to you. Here. Please. Take this. Thank you, Vale. I will not allow it. <gasps> Heed me well, O oh defective daughter of mine. Papa. My goal is so close I can taste it, but their kindness makes you weak. Now go and reclaim my emblem rings at once. I won't! So I see. That is a shame. Well then, there is nothing more you can do for me. And I have never been in the habit of keeping that which has no value. Child, 
Twice now I have struck you down. But I promise you, no amount of sleep will bring you back from this moment. This time, your defeat is final. inexorable fate. No! But the stone shouldn't break! The stone shouldn't shatter unless... All that time, you were my sister! I found you! I finally found you! Please don't be gone! I need to talk to you! I don't understand why you would sacrifice yourself for me! <laughs> Such pathetic children. All twelve of the rings are finally in my possession. No! Give them back! Now! Those rings belong to my sister! Their friends fought so hard even to make it here! Yet, for all of that, I control the emblem rings. Together, their power is so great. Granted once every thousand years, and now that unrivaled power is mine. Impossible. Gradlon. Restored. Papa, where are you going? 
You've destroyed everything. You killed your own child. This is what you wanted? Looks like it's over for you all, hmm? Zephia! Lady Defect. You survived here only because of all those who came to your aid. What a shame. Because now it's time for you to say farewell. Farewell? <laughs> My head! Lady Veil! Vale. I don't want her to have control. But Marnie broke the helmet. Oh, Mavia. Simple, simple Mavia. It was only cracked. That certainly weakened it. But with Lord Sombron's elevation to power, the helmet works far better than before. <gasps> Lady Vale, come on out. Join us if you would. <laughs> no! Father! <laughs> what power! You've finally done it. I wanted to kill the Divine Dragon myself, but... Oh well. Lady Vale. Lord Zombron will gladly welcome you as his daughter now. Good to see you back. Would have had to kill you otherwise. Zephia, Gris, return to father. I'll catch up with you soon. Of course. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. As for all of you, death is inevitable. But I'd like this mess dealt with now. Clean this up for me. Leave no one alive. The Corrupted. And more than we can handle on our own. We don't even have our rings! Rings? They'd be useless to you. The Divine Dragon is dead. None of you have the ability to summon emblems. This is the end. We have no way out. So, who wants to die first? There's no need for any of you to squirm or struggle. You're all about to join your beloved Divine Dragon. Are we all going to die here? There must be something we can do! Please... 